good morning. Um, we are into video 3.1 lesson number three. Yeah, we have finally reached lesson number three. In total, we have eight lessons for this uh, program. Okay, without further ado, let us uh, dive in into our lesson three: tracing with hand tools uh, using layers in Illustrator. Okay, and how do we trace the fender bed using the pen tool using layers? Okay, okay. Let me start off with uh, a famous quote by an artist called Paul Klee. A line is a dot that went for a walk by Paul Klee. You see? Um, remember the pen tool? So, see, a line is made of dots. See. So I'm just using dots just to de demonstrate the point. Okay. And what he said is very true. A line is a dot that went for a walk. Okay, well done. So now, what are we going to do? Lesson 3 Continuation of the pen tools, tracing, and working with layers. As you can see here, um, I scribble down on my notebook. Yeah, I have to do some planning first on the layers. For example, one, select the layer, cleaning the layer, and plan what you want to do first. Draw and then name the layer as a layer for the name, layer for the names. Okay, so here example first so as you can see today my camera is pointed at this angle to show you the layers right? icon so I first started with creating everything okay let's look at the bear okay maybe I want the head as one layer so I put one the body hold here as layer number two and the leaves there are four leaves see I put that leaves times four and this layer will only have all these so later if you want to do any editing you can always go back to the layer without disrupting the rest okay and I have totally uh, in total have about eight layers yeah okay so let me run through the layers. Okay, layer number one is the head, layer number two is the body, layer number three is the four limbs, layer number four is the two ears, layer, layer number five is the nostril and the lips, and layer number six is the black patch, and seven and eight is the eye highlight and the eyeball, which is too small for me to number it, so I just leave it. And it goes straight to layer number eight, which is the paws and the and the sole of the uh, of the panda bear. Okay, so let us um, now go straight to the illustrator. So this is just a a a, um, a page to show you. You have to plan your layers, working with layers, and how you create the layers first before you start drawing with the pen tools. Okay. Okay, let's go to my drawing. Yeah. So that was just an intro to lesson number three. So as you can see here, to, in order to save time, I put all the numbers there and I already prepared all the layers. Yeah. Okay, not this one. Okay, layer number one is the head. So what I did was I put the head below and then the body on top and then the limbs on top. The eye is right on top because it's the front layer, the most upper layer. Alright, so we start from the bottom with the head. Okay, so what we do is you have to select the layer so that your drawing will be on that layer. So I'm going to enlarge and use the pen tool. 
And as you can see, the bear has a lot of fur. You don't need to go and create all individual fur. It will be impossible to trace them. Oh, by the way, I forgot. We are going to create a bear, not in an illustrative manner like how you see my lions, but more like my panda bear painting here. It's more a pop art style, okay? Like my self-portrait, <laughs> okay? So like this, we're going to create a bear like this, yeah? Yeah, so for the basic level. If the advanced level, we can go and do like very detailed like the lion. This was done on the iPad too and enlarge it, okay? Okay, so we're going to do a bear in this manner. I call it a pop-up star, okay? Okay, let's start. Okay, pen two. Okay, make sure you select the colors of the, let's say, I select orange to do the tracing. That's it. Let's undo it first. Pen two. Then to, uh, let's go adjust the thickness so you can see. Okay, okay a bit thicker. If you feel that this orange a bit light, then we can always change color. How about using this magenta? Okay, let's uh, continue. Okay, we don't need the fill. You can take away the fill by deselecting the fill. Okay. Okay, just use the... You don't even need to use the handle for now. I just... If you want, you can just pull a little bit. You can just use straight line. And then later use the <coughs> direct um, direct uh, selection tools to select it. I mean to edit it. To make those area that you want it to be round. Let me show you shortly. But of course if you want to smoothen it, Straight away, you may do so. Okay, close up. Okay. Okay, now, you see, maybe you find that this part here is too straight or you don't need this point. You use the direct selection tool. Remember, the direct selection tools is just a selection tool. It's not a drawing tool. Yeah? Okay, let me shift this thing here so you can see. Okay, maybe I think I don't need this point, so I just exit. Yeah, so you select the point, the pop-up menu will come up. Okay, and you can adjust. Yeah, you can find new it. Okay, like we find is this too angular. You can just press around to. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I mentioned before some artists they work it this way. They just they just do it with angular point first and later then they adjust it. Okay, this is taken more. Okay. Now sometimes you find there's too many points. Oh no, we need this point. You don't delete those points that you need. Okay, maybe we need to make it curve here. Maybe it's a bit too angular.
Okay, done. So, okay, maybe this part here a bit too angular. Okay, we are done with the. Uh, let's go back to the layer and you see. Okay. Check my other filter. Just give me a minute. Okay, so now you can see. You, this is in the. If I, am I correct? Okay. Where is this layer? Oh, I'm a, okay. I suppose to be it's supposed to be in this layer, but I think I have drawn in this layer. I've drawn in layer twelve. Sorry. Okay. So uh, remember that you. Okay. Never mind. We cut here and bring it to this layer and paste. Okay. So now you know that the head reside in layer one. So on off so whatever editing we can do we can just go to this layer all right okay so now let's remember to select maybe just i forgot to select the layer so i'm not going to trace the body all right the body of the bear this whole thing all right okay so can um, i think you can use a different color to differentiate it and then later we chain it, it's fine. Okay. Okay, enlarge it. Chase. So it's in a different body, in a different layer, so that you see it doesn't affect the, the, the head layer. So this, another example I'm showing you is that you can straight away make the curve. by pulling the handle to the top view in the last few lesson. Instead of just putting points and then come and use the direct selection tools and edit it. Okay, the body is here. Um, we can overlap it later, I'll show you something. Okay. Okay, yeah. So the body is in layer two. The head is in layer one. Okay, so we're done with the body. Now let's go to the limbs. Let's make sure you highlight, select the layer number three for the uh, tracing all the limbs. Maybe we use, cannot use black so you can't see, right? So we use, uh, what color should we use? What color should we use? Um, yellow. Okay. Something tells me to use yellow. So, okay. Okay, make sure it's in that layer. So now you can trace inside. Doesn't matter. You can overlap it a bit. Join. So you have one of the limbs. Actually, there, there's one more here, but then we just leave it there. So we select, select again, and then Okay, select, deselect, press outside and press again. Now we trace the other limbs.
Okay, join. Okay, so I'm done with the limbs, the four limb or three limbs. Okay, so it's in layer number three, and then now we're going to trace the year. Let's use a red color. Layer number four. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the line that is too straight. Okay, maybe goes up this way. Deselect, press outside. So I have the year done in layer number four. See, I hide it and see. So I know it's in that layer. So layer, click layer number five. If it's just a nostril, maybe we can use black for the nostril because. Okay. Oh, got to select the pen tool. Oh, black. Okay. Deselect. And we can also draw down the lips if you want. Under layer number 5, too. Uh oh, we forgot to click layer number five. I think we are at so let's delete that. Where is this layer? It went to layer number one. So, okay, when this happens, just cut. Never mind, cut it and bring it to layer number five. Paste it. Okay, no issue. Okay, then now we go back to pen two. Let's try to draw the lips. The lips. Be smiling and take it off. Okay, so now we have layer number five with the lips. Yeah. Okay, so we are almost done. So now we go to the eye. So make sure you select the eye, the black patch. Then we're going to do the, the outline of the eyes and the eye socket. Okay, let's all do all these in... Okay, let's separate it as I separated in white outline and eyeball. So if you we need to edit it, it's easy. Okay. Okay, so that can adjust that a little bit if you want it close. Okay, then now the white outline. Okay, let's use maybe white. Hopefully, you can see. Yeah. Okay, for the outline, maybe you want to. Enlarge it bigger and try to get close. Shape. Maybe a bit thinner. Okay. So you see, when you work on the layer, you cross any other object, it doesn't affect because it's those other objects like the numbers and are in different layers but if in the same layer you will affect so that's why we work with layers okay okay, okay let's use the direct selection tool so I think maybe a too much point there 
delete them. Yeah, that's good enough. We don't need too many points. Yeah, then it's new. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm done with the white outline. Let's go to the black ball. So the black ball just use the circle. The eyeball just use the circle. Okay, let's use the black. Okay. Back to 22. My selection tool. Sorry. Move. You can just enlarge it. Yeah. Yeah, if you want, you can fill the circle. Okay, and then duplicate and uh, review, uh, change the color to white, get the highlight. And reduce it smaller, there will be the highlight of the smaller still. So the highlight, I actually I put it on another layer. Um, yeah, maybe you can cut and paste and put on that layer. So then later you can work on the eyeball without affecting the highlight. Okay, let's paste over the highlight. Okay, done. So you can see, if you don't want to see the highlight, you can just up the eyeball and the white. Okay, cool. So, I like it's done. So now we left with the soul. Okay, okay, what's into my computer? Okay, sorry, give me a minute. Okay. So maybe at this junction, you like to take a look at what you are drawn. So we just uh, hide the bear. Okay. Okay. Let me put a black background behind so you can see what you have drawn. Sorry, I shouldn't be okay. Let me cut, cut it, and create a layer. And bring it right down, and I paste it. Okay, so roughly you can see what you have drawn, something like this. Yeah. And so later we're gonna fine tune a bit and um, uh, make it into like a pop art style there, which I show you earlier. And then we can move the thing and group the whole thing and move it. Okay, so finally let's go to layer number eight. Make sure you select the layer number eight. Okay. So this one, there is something, the black, okay, no. yeah, let's go to layer number eight. So we want to trace the sole of the feet and the paw. So we can simplify it, I think. Let's see. Let's choose the color first. Let's choose red, no, brown. We don't need the fill. We need the line to be thicker so you can see it. Okay. Okay. 
I don't know whether we should add in the pause. Okay, we can simplify it. Yeah, we decide on the pause later. We just have a patch first. I think, yeah, pop up style, we can make it simple. We just need to get the shape in. Okay, so I guess we have done tracing. All the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten layers. All right, not including the numbers. <laughs> okay, okay, so we can now decide to fill in the colors and take a look. Okay, let's start with the head. Say, we just fill in exact colors that we have for the outline. Okay, the body. And then the limbs. Ah, cool, you see? Uh, it doesn't have to be realistic for up stuff. The black, you can change it to be yellow. And I quite kind of like this color combination. Uh, it was just uh, instinctive. I didn't even plan it, the colors. I only plan the, the layers where they go so that you know, when you're working on a computer, you have to work. Uh, do you know where you have drawn the thing? You can identify and locate the layers and easy for you to edit it later. Yeah? So it's a bit different when you paint on the canvas. <laughs> the layers is... Uh, 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 once you put down, you can't alter it. But with the computer, you can still edit and alter it. Yeah? So that's the difference. Okay. Let's put in surprisingly everything seems to come up quite nice the way I like it. <laughs> okay. <coughs> the outline. Oh yeah, see it's cool. See I told you. So when they have the when they have the layers it's quite easy. So you may notice that some of these layers like it's supposed to be behind. So remember our, uh, remember, let me shift my camera, to, uh, let me bring this up a bit. so you can see. Yeah, all these pop up too. So if you want this to go behind the pink, so you just select this blue and layer. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't do that when they are all in different layers. So but what you can do instead of using that, you can shift in your layers. You can bring it down. So I should show you what I'm doing here. Okay? Yeah. So the so you can see. And so if I want to bring the yellow layer down. Okay, backward. Same for this one. Yeah, it's all go behind already. Oh, I think I have might have missed out one uh, one black patch here under layer six. Yeah. <coughs> so you can duplicate and move. Of course, it's not going to be so big. We can reduce it smaller for the other eye. Now we can pop the layers.
OK. So we have a panda bear that looks like in a pop up style. So let's off the bottom layer so you can see. Yeah. OK. Um, why there's an up bot there? We've got to get rid of that. Oh gosh. OK. Doesn't matter. Let's do that. OK. Oh. Let's fill in the pause. I think the up box is small, so now what I need to do is select everything and uh, the group is below. Group it, then I can reduce it. Okay, you must press this button to reduce it. Yeah, I forgot to put it in the up box. What's the size of my up box? Okay, let me like. I was drawing in a very big size, so now I put it in the up box. Yes, okay. So now we can uh, say maybe we want some. We have grouped everything together, right? So maybe we can add in the black outline and increase the thickness oh, and play around with it. Wow, don't you think you have something like a pop-up style there? Yes. So of course, because we group everything together, if I bring it too big, then you can see the white eyeball and all these are gone so never mind so you see that's a good thing of the layers if we we have the layer so we can um, now go to the layer so ungroup it first ungroup so now we can go to the layers of the eyeball and select it Okay, and okay, we now just now something uh, I think is the white. No, the black. Wait, wait, wait. You see, yeah. I think it's still group. Ah, no wonder. Okay. Group it. Oh, it's ungroup. Okay. Ah, okay. Identify. You can see the because of the line thickness, so it becomes very big. It all. It, it all becomes, uh, you can't see the white. So we need to change the line thickness. Yeah. And here, so this this one to the line thickness to be back to normal. So you can shift it back. Then you can see yeah, the eye. But the rest of the thickness is still there. Okay, you can enlarge it bigger so you can Yeah, cool. And uh, the highlight also because because of the line thickness, the highlight is gone. So now I'm back. Yeah, as you can see, it goes back to its position because it's in the layer. So that's the good thing of working with the layers. Like, like I say, you work in the layers, you can. Uh, keep the rest and just amend certain part. Yeah, I think for today, I should uh, leave it as here.
All right. So we have touched on the layers. Yeah. Let's go back to my original angle. Okay. In the uh, painting a bear in a pop art style. Okay, and um, we will continue in the next lesson, video 3.1 uh, 3 will follow by 3.2 where we will be using the pen, uh, the brush tools. And for the brush tool, I will migrate you all to another software called the Procreate to paint the bear. Yeah? Now we have actually filled in the bear with color. It can also be considered as painted it in a pot up style. In the Procreate, we can create more different kind of texture. As a illustrator, it's vector base, uh, it's postscript, it's sharp. But when you go to Procreate, it's pixel base. Yeah. So it's a bit different. Okay, thank you for watching and see you again in lesson uh, 3 video uh, 3.2. Thank you. Bye.